After days and days of travel to some of the most rural locations out in the Philippines, we finally made it to the Virgin Island of Cresta de Gallo. Good morning guys, it is bright and early again today. It's like 4 a.m. Uh, yesterday we made it from Ramblan to Cebuyan Island for 190 pesos, that's like four or five dollars. Unfortunately, there was only one ferry, which was at 6 a.m., so we had to get up at 5 a.m., and today we're getting up at 4 a.m., and this is the main reason why we headed out this far. We're heading to an island called Cresta de Gallo, which is just off the island of Cebuyan, and we're really, really excited. This is one of the reasons why you're traveling two, three, four days out this far for Cresta de Gallo, and we also made it to Sanctuary Garden Hotel, so right now the room's a little, uh, messy but I got some shots from yesterday so I'll sh insert them right over here and this hotel is very very nice it's actually the nicest hotel on the island there's only about two three hotels and a good amount of guest houses because this is a very very unexplored island let's say so there's only a couple of hotels but right now it's like 4 a.m. we got to get some breakfast the food is really really good by the way and it's really really cheap it's like our favorite combo and uh, Ivor is actually checking if it's raining right now because it was pretty much storming and raining at night but as long as it's nice during the day, we're gonna head out to Cresta de Gallo, which again, that's like the main reason why you're coming this far. And uh, this is very, very exciting. If it's not raining, we can get there. And this is the restaurant, it is dead empty. <laughs> and supposedly you wanna go to Cresta de Gallo like really, really early, because during the daytime it gets really hot. It's not raining, surprisingly, but it's about an hour into an hour and a half drive. So we're gonna eat some breakfast right now, cross our fingers that it doesn't rain, and hopefully we make it to Cresta de Gallo again. This is like the main reason why we came out this far. Good to go. Still a little drizzling, but a little rain can't stop us. So right now we're gonna jump on a motorbike. We have about an hour to a 90 minute ride to the main little town that takes us to Cresta de Gallo. And uh, yeah, we came out this far. We're not gonna let the rain stop us. Hello. Those aren't Gatorade bottles. Gasoline. Yeah. Gasoline. Oh. Yeah, very local, man. It's like 15 minutes in the ride. It's a little bumpy. You get some like dirt patches. Still a little wet. I'm surprised they didn't say anything to us, but again, this is like super rural areas. No tourists, explorers here. But Ivor and I, and Christian and yes. Jackson Groves, but. I think I don't know it's down. Good morning. Yeah, I think this is the area. Yeah. My favorite. <laughs> this is the port of Agra? <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Agra port, something like that. I got like the sorest butt in the world right now. It was about an hour and 15 motorbike ride, and uh, we're not even sure if this is the spot. How do we get to uh, Cresta de Gallo? Cresta de Gallo? Yeah. A bo oh. <laughs> I see a couple like main boats over there. It, yeah, there's there. bigger boats over there. Yeah. And this is so insane. There's like no tourists. This is only locals. Like, look at what's behind me. Here, I'll jump back on and we'll go there. Yeah. Find the way out. Uh, I think we found it. It's probably one of those boats over there. So this is our boat? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. We gave it a 2,500 pesos. We've been literally looking for this place all morning. We couldn't find it. And uh, they're really stiff on the negotiation. So 2,500 pesos is around 40 American dollars and we got a big boat. So besides the 2,500 pesos, we had to pay a 50 peso per person environmental fee. That's about a dollar for the 50 pesos. And it's gonna be about an hour ride to Cresta de Gallo. Even though it was a slightly hectic morning finding the spot, an hour and 15 minute motorbike ride negotiating, I'm so happy we're out here. I'm with my boy Ivor and uh, we got an hour ride and we should be at Cresta de Gallo. Let's do it, brother. Woo!
Welcome to the Gatorade factory, my friends. Holy smokes. <laughs> Dude, we made it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Uh. Paper covers rock. <laughs> Holy God, look at this place. Oh, my goodness. All right, guys, we made it. Finally made it to Cresta de Gallo after the slight hectic morning. But look at this. It's literally an island right in the middle of the ocean, just a spit of island right in the middle of the ocean. And uh, oh my goodness, this is absolutely incredible. The water is like the Gatorade factory, Glacier Blue. And holy goodness, this is insane. What do you think, man? It's so pretty. We freaking made the it. Sun now, so you can see how pretty it is. Yeah, well, we'll get the drone up once the sun comes out. And uh, here's our captain. Oh, thank you. El Capitan? Yeah. <laughs> So we're literally going to be here probably for a few hours. We're going to be eating some lunch. We're going to be running around, shooting the drone up, playing in the water. Yes, I said playing in the water. And gosh, look at the water. Literally. Gatorade factory right here. Yeah, what do you, what do you feel like doing first? I'm going to put my stuff down. Put your stuff down and... Around. Yeah, let's run around the place. This place is insane. I can't believe there's signal out here. This is so crazy. I can't it. <laughs> well, you're with me in spirit. <laughs> Hello. Do you guys do you guys live here? You live here? Oh, he, he's our he's our boat guy. You live here. How many people live here? Eight. Eight people lives on Cresta de Gallo. Wow. This is beautiful. And the and the dog too. Your uncle's dog. Yeah. Oh wow, okay. Be you have a beautiful island. Very beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Uh, my, my drink. My, oh, drink? You drink you? Sure. Yeah. This is one of my favorite parts of traveling. You want her? Meeting locals. And, oh, no water, no water. You want her? What is yeah. this? Yeah. Empirite. Empirite. Emperor. 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 Brandy. Oh. Brandy. Brandy. Okay, you guys have a drink? Oh, yeah. yeah. What is your name? Louis Boy. Louis Boy? Yeah. Louis Boy. Well, I just met Louis Boy. Do you live on the island? From Cebuan Island. Cebuan. Island. Okay. City. Do you guys, uh, any of you guys live here? Oh, yes. yes. You, you live here? Oh. Yes. You have a beautiful island. Oh. Island in Crest Island. Cheers to Crested de Gallo. Yeah. And cheers to meeting some uh, locals out here. Cheers. Very strong. Oh. <laughs> hey. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Louis boy. Louis boy. Oh, Louis boy. Louis boy. Louis boy. <laughs> Thank you, Louis boy. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Thank Thank you guys. You have what's a beautiful. Your, what's your name? Uh, my name is Chris. Chris. Christopher. Christopher. Yeah. Yeah. I make uh, YouTube videos. My name. What's my what? name? Louis boy. Louis. Yeah. Your name. Oh yeah. Louis boy! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you, Louis boy! Take care! <laughs> Take, care. Take care! Thank you guys! <laughs> so it looks like about eight people lives on the island and they're just so friendly. They gave me a drink, a shot of brandy. I, uh, I normally don't really drink shots of brandy, but when you're on Crested Gallo and they offer you a drink, why not? But <laughs> that's one of my favorite reasons of traveling. I love meeting locals. I love meeting other people. And uh, they're just super, super friendly. They have like a dog on the island. They have a good amount of chickens, it looked like. And uh, Louis Boy's the man. <laughs> you met Louis Boy? I met everyone. I met Louis Boy. I had a shot of brandy. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this hands down is the most beautiful island in the world. This is, this is absolute paradise. And even in such a remote environment, we found some trash. We decided to pick it up and put it together. Teamwork, baby. Yeah. Teamwork. Pick up your trash, folks. Yeah, seriously, pick, pick up. up. Pick up your trash, people. Don't 
litter anywhere just because it's such a remote area. And bring it back. And bring it back okay. to the mainland and throw it away. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video out here on Cresta de Gallo, specifically Cebuya to Cresta de Gallo. My tip for you guys is if you guys are in Boracay, Boracay is an extremely touristy area. But if you guys have another week or so, maybe a few more days even, go check out Ramblan, go check out Cebuya, even Tablas is right there. There's a lot of hidden gems like Bonbon Beach, like Cresta de Gallo. If you guys are coming out to Cebuyan, there's not too many things to do besides Cresta de Gallo. There also is an incredible hike, supposedly, which we don't really have hiking gear. So it's actually a hike to the second tallest peak in all of the Philippines. I would definitely recommend it if you guys probably have hiking gear. I've seen some photos and it looked incredible. But uh, if you guys are in the area, definitely check out Bamban, Ramblan, Cebuyan. Again, these are incredible spots and some of these spots are hidden gems. No tourists are here. The three other tourists that were here, they already left, so literally Ivor and I have this entire island of Costa de Gallo to ourselves right now. But again, it was a quick video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The entire point of coming all the way out this way was to check out Costa de Gallo. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is part of my Philippines vlog series, my second time doing a vlog series out in the Philippines. I have a ton more Philippine videos from last year in November, so check that out in my playlist. And uh, welcome to my channel. If you guys are brand new, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, smash the like button for this video, and also comment down below if there's any other spots we should probably check out in the Philippines. And make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you guys are reminded for the next Philippines vlogs. We're actually going to leave tomorrow um, due to some uncertainty in the ferries. So we're gonna make it back to Kataklan for a couple days. I'm gonna be doing some editing there. And then we're gonna be heading to one of my favorite islands out in the Philippines, Shargao. And one of my best friends is gonna be visiting me again for his birthday. So if you guys remember my vlog series last year in Thailand, David's gonna be coming back. I'm really excited to have one of my best buds from California to visit me. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for being part of the community. And uh, we're gonna enjoy this for a little more, head back to the mainland and uh, head to the hotel and do some more work. Cheers, guys. That was bad. <laughs> that, that didn't work out as planned. <laughs>